Hi, my name is Santiago Cartamil. I'm the CEO of Scale Now Tech. Um, we are a small company that uh, is uh, innovating and uh, making displays uh, for the AR, VR industry with our innovative uh, uh, GMOD display technology. So um, it says market entry of graphene-based large area modulators. Yes. For holographic displays. Aha, uh -huh, that's correct. So we, our technology is, uh, uh, you know, using the graphene material to create pixels that are really small and at the same time changing colors uh, in a single device. So that makes uh, full spectrum pixels that uh, allow us to reduce uh, the number of pixels in the same area and make it even uh, higher resolution than the industry standards. Uh, with the graphene, besides, uh, we achieve low power consumption and high contrast in bright environments. With, uh, on the other side, we have also the video speed capability and the color uh, functionality. So all together makes it really great technology for uh, what I would say uh, AR, VR applications. What do we see here? What is this? Uh, that is a header lamp. Uh, uh, with the header lamp, uh, we can actually switch on and look at this demonstrator. This demonstrator is uh, a graphene display. Uh, that uh, has uh, uh, 3,800 ppi, pixels per inch. Um, each of the pixels, there are 20 million pixels in this demonstrator. Uh, you may see if you get a bit of an angle that they have m many colors. And uh, in this 20 million pixel display, when you press the button here, uh, they should change, but you need to get it right. And with the camera, maybe it's a bit more complicated, but we will try in any case. Um, so every time I tap um, the, all the 20 million pixels in the, in the display, they will go from blue to green or yellow. And uh, this is really at very low power consumption. So basically you could get uh, one of the displays in the next generation Apple or Google Glass and you will be saving a lot of battery when so you So you're talking about this? Yeah, inside. So the, you're just eliminating it? Yeah. And in there, there's a display With a and it's using graphene? Right, exactly. So please don't do that, but if you put the finger inside, you will be touching the graphene. And uh, yes, that's possible for thanks to all the research and, and innovation that the European Union is funding. So what is the uh, advantage of using graphene in the display industry? That's uh, who's doing that? questions. We are doing it. Only you? Only us. Only Nobody us. else has figured out we to are use graphene? Well, they are using graphene for other applications, but in the display world, uh, I believe we are mainly the only ones. Some people use the graphene for electrodes, for displays, but they are not really the active part of the display. They are not making graphene pixels. We do graphene pixels. We make them. Um, so, yes, that's... So, um, what do we see here? We have here a simulation of uh, how one of these, I can make it even bigger, there you go. So, the membrane pixel moves up and down mechanically when you apply a voltage, and you see that it changes the color with the movement. That's because it has an optical cavity and you modulate the light by moving it. So, with doing this, we have this full spectrum uh, pixel. Uh, that could be used, for example, for monochromatic dithering, like the one you see now, or even heat dithering that allow us to move the membrane in different position and changing from red to green to blue. There you go. Is it possible to see this one? What, what, is, uh, are there colors in this demo? In this demo, you will see all the pixels change to blue. So it's a bit more like uh, you need to pay, uh, you can get even closer probably. Um, but yeah, it's blinking every, let me, maybe I need to switch it. How often does it blink? Every second. Now you should be seeing a blinking. All the pixels become blue, all the pixels become yellow. So hopefully you so, catch a bit. So how far is, uh, is this technology from uh, mass production and changing the world? Changing the world probably in two years. Two so years? Two years only. That quick? We will have an MVP by the end of the year, and we will showcase this MVP uh, at the C CES Las Vegas in January. After that, it depends on the support that we will receive from, you know, industry and the... Uh, MVP. Uh, MVP is for a minimum value product. And that's going to be a 4K by 4K AR? It will AR be a 2K, a 2K by 2K, 2K to start, because it's a demonstrator. We you don't have do access. We will, this is a 2K already. 2K already? Yes with graphene pixels, millions of uh, graphene pixels. And when I, when I look at your, uh, here I see some AR glasses also. 
Yes, um, you can go. Let me see. There you go. And that's one of the intended applications um, because our pixels can uh, withstand high optical powers. We could actually apply bright uh, intensity um, illumination and project it into, say, the front of the car or, for example, your glasses. When it is a sunny day, you need to do that, otherwise you will not see the image. And Gmod is a graphene... Modulator display. Modulator display. Uh, is it special to modulate in a display, like when it's vibrate and stuff like that? Is it's that... really rare. Nobody does that? Nobody does that. We are the only and unique uh, company that makes this type of technology. And uh, it comes from the heart of Europe, Spain and Estonia. And the membrane, or what's it called, uh, needs to be exactly the right shape so you can right. vibrate exactly the angle the you way need? we want it, exactly. Uh, is it going to be hard to do that? No, we already did it. So we are doing a really great job, and I think we are ready to go, to go mass productions in yeah several months. Do you combine this with quantum dots or anything? No. No? Only graphene? Only graphene. Only graphene, no rare earth material, no contaminating or toxic materials at all. There's we lots are, of graphene, no? That's, well, that's a bit of graphene, but just the size. At, at, the, at the end, you imagine that the graphene is only one atom thick material, so you don't have that much graphene material, but it covers the whole display. All right. Um, small, big display? We start with micro displays that are less than one or two inches in diagonal, but uh, the, our technology is agnostic, so we expect to be able to make uh, much bigger than that smartphone, ebook, uh, maybe even TV. How does it compare with micro OLED? Well, or micro ours, LED? Yes, ours is a reflective type display technology, so we need uh, you know the light coming from somewhere, from either the sun or from you know. Uh, lantern, uh, a lamp that we have here, uh, or even the light inside the room. Um, the other technologies, they are emissive display technologies and they generate light. But by generating the light, even when it is bright outside, you're just wasting energy. So your battery and your uh, smartphone, for example, will last very little hours with hours. Is there any chance longer. to do it transflective? Because if I were walk around with my cool glasses and the sun is doing million nits on the street, yeah. I'd like to use that. Yes. To, pow to light up my display. For that, you don't need the, 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 the technology to be translated. You could just simply, you know, redirect the light of the sun into the into the display, and then you will see. Something? It will mirror it exactly. It will project it. So we can do yeah. that. On your glasses, where would the mirror go? So it should be somewhere behind. So nowadays, typically, you have the display somehow here in the back. The light points into the display and then gets reflected into your glass. You think it would be enough to just walk like this in the sunlight? We need to try it, but I think it should on a sunny day. Because uh, the sun is like an unlimited exactly. fusion, fusion uh, reactor in the sky. Exactly. We need to use it. Yes, and we should stop wasting energy. I think we are nowadays doing it wrong with this place. And compared to micro LED? Micro LEDs are a new technology, very complex, and very expensive, and they are, there are many challenges still they need to, to overcome for it to work. It is very promising and it is efficient, but it still generates and um, potentially wastes a lot of energy when you use it in a bright LED illumination environment. 